All right, we're out here at Wohink Lake. You can see it is kind of a windy day, but we thought we'd better get this thing out and ran and uh, so we can get you a video of this. So this is a 2023 Sea-Doo Switch. Um, it's kind of one of those different pontoon boats that you, you might have seen. Um, and uh, we're gonna, this is the first time I've ever been on one, so I have no other, I only can compare it to a normal pontoon boat. And uh, yeah, this is the 21 foot model, Sea uh, uh, to Switch Cruise. And so we're gonna go over all the features this has and uh, give you a nice run. So we'll start off here, getting access to the engine bay is where you turn these. And you can pull it up. You can see in here, this has the 270 uh, or the 230 horsepower supercharged Rotax engine. You can hear it running in there. They do a good job of soundproofing it as you can hear it when it's out. And once we just put this cover on, instantly quiet. It's actually. It is actually a quiet boat. So uh, um, we'll go over our controls here. It's steered like a jet ski. So this would be your reverse. You hold it in for reverse, gas. So you can see that reverse, or this is brake if you're in gas. Put it in forward like that, and it stays in forward, and then that's your gas. Click this one in to put it back into neutral. You got your VTS, which is your trim. Uh, it's got a couple different modes here. You got sport mode, ski mode, so it's like cruise control, eco mode, and then eco off, which is regular. And this is how you can navigate the menu here. This has 52.5 hours, so hardly any hours. We got our switches right here, blower switch, bilge switch, courtesy or, or anchor lights, horn, and courtesy lights right here. Here's our controls. This does have the upgraded eight speaker audio. You can see the speaker system up front there and one back here. And then it's also built into the helm here. So here's where your other speakers are. So we'll go ahead, we'll give this, we'll give this a run through. Um, and uh, we do have the top up, so that's gonna be more drag on the wind. So you would get a little faster um, with this pretty windy day today. So we'll go ahead and we'll start, start, just give it a quick run. So I've never been in one of these. It's the first time I've tried one of these out. I've driven jet skis and I've driven pontoon boats. And I combined it into one. And so far, it's really easy to control because you're like steer left, right, and you only have to steer that much. Throttle's right on your hand so you're not messing with the shifter right here. So you can just easily move it around. We'll put it into sport mode here. Light turning, turns really easy. As you can see, we're going 25 miles an hour. That's like the fastest I've been in any pontoon boat before this. And we'll give it full gas here. With the wind, you can, the wind is literally moving us. It's that bad. And we're still going 35, 36 miles an hour with this wind. That's crazy. This thing's moving, a 21 foot pontoon boat. With the wind that we got out here today. That's, that's pretty good. And it feels easily controlled the whole time. We'll go into our wake now. This goes right through it, no problem. And it feels very sporty, I mean, you gotta think that you're in a 21 foot pontoon boat. That's got this much sport to it. You can see how fast it climbs up into the wind. I mean, we're just fighting to, we're fighting to stay on course with that top on. With how windy it is. And then you also, so if you wanna slow down, can hit the brakes here, and it'll slow you down. We'll do some maneuvers here. 
you've probably watched lots of videos online. So this is more of just a runnability test. Full turn to the right. I mean, this thing's like a regular boat. Into some big waves here. Didn't, I didn't even feel it. Didn't even feel it. And the other nice thing on a jet, throw in reverse. And you can just 180 this bad boy around, just like that. Look at how easy that was. You can't do that on a regular boat. The controllability of this boat is awesome. A little slower into the left-hand turn, or it doesn't turn as sharp. can adjust the trim here. You can feel those brakes kick in. Awesome. Left hand turn. We can still turn all the way around before we hit our wake. So we're going straight into our wake. And this thing just eats the wake for breakfast. I mean, I know pontoon boats are normally uh, good in the wake just because you only got the tubes, but this thing just feels sporty into it. It's, it's honestly pretty fun to drive. I like it here. But uh, there goes uh, the water test. It's just so easy. Throw it into neutral here. So yeah, there it is here on the water test. We'll get some drone footage for you so you can see it out from the drone. And then we'll go up on land and get a conditional walkthrough and kind of layout walkthrough on this boat. All right, we're here on the land. We just got done with the water test. We didn't get any drone footage because it's really windy out here and it's kind of hard to launch the drone when the boat's moving so much. But you've probably seen a lot of videos online um, of some drone footage. Um, so we're just gonna go over a, a, a little conditional because it's, it's like a brand new boat and not a lot of stuff on it. So we're gonna kind of go over the things that I liked on it and the things I didn't like. But uh, overall, uh, just give you a good look at it. So we'll start up here in the front. It is a five flat um, pin. So you'll need one of these round connectors. It does have brakes, a two inch ball. You got your jack right there. It's actually, if you can look underneath, for the since it's kind of a it is a tri-tune you can see how these bunks it just goes right in those bunks and it is super easy to load i mean we've never even put this thing in the water until today and we did that faster than i've done any other boat so really easy to load really easy to dock and we'll tell you why in the up in the when we get upside um it does have a ladder that goes up right here but it is pretty steep so that's one thing that, you know, it's nice to have up front, but it is gonna be steep. Anchor locker up front. Nice little hidden cubby right there. This does open, so you can get in and out from the front. And that's what's really cool on this boat too, is you can just beach this thing so easy. You don't have to worry about your prop or anything like that hitting in. Drive it up onto the beach, get in and out right up here in the front um, and not have to worry. It's just all this plastic this can just shine up and look better on these pontoons. But really, I mean, they're, it's plastic. You're not gonna ruin anything. Um, that's what's really cool on this. They do have these uh, windows on the side, and I did like those because you can see out of them. And, you know, it's a lot less weight than like a normal pontoon boat where it's the metal sides. This looks a lot cooler. It's removable if you wanted to do a different layout stuff like that so a lot of ideas that can be used with this that's the big thing on this boat is you can turn it into whatever you want it's got nice wheels and tires on there like i said does have brakes on the trailer going on in the back got the rotax 230 horsepower engine and this is the 21 foot model because it has this uh, swim platform in the back got pull up uh, buckle or tie down points it does have the ski pole tower, but the top piece to hold the rope was broken, so that will need replaced. 
Uh, it's just this looking piece right there, but it does have the actual tower that comes up. You could also tie off right here. Anchor lights go right there. Down here in the bottom, when you put it in the water, you do a plug right there. Plug right here is for the exhaust drain and a plug right here. This is not a plug. This is so you can flush it when you're out of the water. It's probably got this in all the, you can easily look up a YouTube video on these, um, but it's these three plugs right here. This one's for your hose. Now you got your trim tabs there. Um, here's your bucket. Everything, if you look inside, nothing's been sucked up or anything. Intake looks good. Everything looks good down there. This is your bilge pump out right there. So if you get water in the engine bay. So everything looks really clean. There's not really any damages. We'll, we'll try to find some. Come back to that. A little, just some little light scuffing. I mean, it's, it's hard to even tell. It's, it's plastic, so you're like, I mean, it's, it's gonna scuff up and you, it's gonna look kind of scratched, but you can literally just spray it clean. Um, sides all look great. It's your horn up front and you're, you got your LED uh, navigation lights as well. So that's everything on the outside and the trailer is a CD switch trailer. Um, so everything looks good out here. We'll go inside, talk about the drivability. It does have this ladder and you pull up like that to get it off and then you can pull it down. So if you're out swimming, well, now you have a way to get back in. A little grab handle right here, up here, and you're out of shore. And you can just walk in the back here. And uh, so, biggest thing about this boat is, if you don't like this layout, you can just change it. These things pull out just like this. Pull this yellow tab, boom, I moved it. I want it over here. Move it into a different spot. You just put it right down where it goes, locked in. Just like that. Super easy, really cool because you could take this all out, have a dance party on this thing, make a runway to jump off into the water. I mean, there's lots of cool ideas that you can do with this. Um, this one does have the JL audio upgraded, so you get some USB outlets right there and the cup holders. It's got the two speakers in there. It's got these oh, tab flip up seats. So these seats just flip up like that. You got some uh, uh, storage right there. And the other thing is there's storage underneath all these seats. Put them in and uh, they have, a lot of them have like pass throughs. So this one goes into this storage area. This one just needs a cover put on it if you want this to be flat, but otherwise, you know, it goes into, you can connect them to each other and then close them off like that. That's what a closed off looks like. Right here, you got a mirror for when you're towing people. Bolster can come up, sit down. You even got some storage right here for your phone with a little charger and stuff like that. All your switches we kind of went over. Um, your start stop, super easy to control this. I will say this was probably the easiest um, pontoon boat I've ever driven. I mean, you can 180 on the spot. You can dock it super easy because you're not going in and trying to move with the wind. You're just, oh, looks like we missed and you just reverse right back out on the spot it's super easy super sporty and uh, I honestly really liked it so um, but you got your gauge right there we will probably have the nav it's just a nav chart um, installed right there we should have that by the time you pick this up this is your speaker controls right there so lay out more you got a table and we saw the engine bay earlier in the video, here's another storage area with a battery and just more storage where you can put stuff. And they just close like that. And then it does come with a lot more of these foam. It's like a foam decking that they just snap in to any of these spots. So it comes with a lot of that so you can fill this in however you want. Again, storage underneath all of those, another JL audio, some cup holders, and these seats. There's a couple other small accessories that it comes with. Um, and then, uh, uh, yeah, so ready to be customized how you want. We got the top right here. You can even put storage up there because it's hard right there. So got the top. They're, they are super easy to fold down and up because they just have these one tabs right there. Move it down, 
unzip in the middle, but you've got a full bimini top um, that covers practically the entire pontoon boat. Looks good, it's strong. I mean, this boat gets so many looks you, you wouldn't believe. I mean, we just pulled it down the street and people were stopping and almost crashing because we're like, what is that thing? But uh, so this one's a nine person capacity. And then, uh, yeah, so that's kind of the just on this boat. Um, overall, I mean, there's very, very little damages. There's a couple scratches up by the hook. And that's about it that I saw. Um, but uh, yeah, ready to go. I really like this boat personally. Uh, and I'm not even trying to be the salesman. Uh, this is actually a really nice boat. Even Kale thinks so too. We might take it out before you get it. But uh, um, yeah, come check it out. We have this here at Breen Marine. Should have a killer price on this and get you out on the water for this se rest of this season or next season, wherever you want to go. So come check it out, Breen Marine, Florence, Oregon.